We have the newest mystery bags of fidget toys out there that many of you have been tagging me onto in YouTube Shorts and TikTok. Let's see which ones we get. So we're going to be unboxing some sensory effects mystery bags of fidget toys. Yes, these are tiny fidget toys of robot type characters. So we can see from the bag itself, it looks like there's a lot we can do within one type of character. And from what I understand, there's six to collect. Six. Yes, six. But on my desk here today, we have eight. Now, do I have the entire collection? I'm 90% sure I do. I kind of don't want to spoil it for myself. And the reason why I don't know is because I can't physically go and buy them myself. I actually have to order them from online. So I leave all the luck to the Walmart gods, whoever picks up the packages and be like, this is for Jackie. We're just gonna give this to her and, and hope. Good luck, may the odds be in your favor. So unfortunately, these are not available in Canada, so I did have to order them online in the US. But I have to say I'm pretty excited with what they look like because it looks like there's a lot to do. I'm curious if the actual TV type screen is fidgetable. I don't want to spoil it for myself, so I don't want to keep looking at them. I just know that many of you have been tagging me, so I'm really curious what we get. However, however, this one came in the package opened. So I don't know who opened it. Was it a customer? Was it the person who put it in the box and was like, what's in there? Why this person in order so many of them? But look, it's already opened. Why? This is clearly someone opened it. This is not like it got smashed in the mail. This is someone who opened it, clearly, right? Yeah, and I can tell it's orange, so let's not get deeper into that. Since I don't want to spoil the surprise of what kind of fidgets they are, let me know which head of the robot color is your favorite in the comment section below. I'm going to have to say I really like the purple and orange, so we'll see if they're actually good fidgets. So since there are six to collect, I did buy eight of them. So hopefully, I like I said, I'm 90% sure we have the entire collection. But we're not going to look at the back. We're just going to go ahead and open and see and hope we get the whole collection. And for those of you who haven't seen Sensory Effects before, we've done so many different kinds of series. We've done the blocks. We've done the spheres. We've even done the fidget pens. So if you're curious about seeing those, I will link them down below. Oh, what is this? Oh, what does that mean? It means while you're down there, if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, make sure you click on all notifications while you're there, which will make you a grain of salt in the salt shaker family. Welcome home, baby. All right, so let's go ahead and move these. I have to say, I really do like the bags. I don't know why the bags really do have my attention. They're quite shiny and quite pretty. And this is the open one. I don't know, do I want to start with the open one? Kind of do. Let's move these all aside. And don't worry, after each one, I will tell you what number it is in case that's the one you want to get and you can get it. Okay, ready? So this is already open. What do we have? Our first experience is one that's already opened. You are. Oh, hello. Oh no, it's a puzzle. Is there anything in here? Okay, yeah, there's the pamphlet. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the pamphlet and see what their actual names is. So Orange's name is Slide. Oh, I hate these puzzles. Oh no, we're starting off bad. I'm going to rate them, of course, between 1 and 10. Wait, they have suctions? Oh look, the number is already written. This is number 102. So if you're ever looking for it in the back of the bag, you're going to see the number 102 written on it. Okay, let's check this out. Let's try the suction first. Wait, does this turn? Oh, okay. Bottom does turn, so let's try this. Is the suction any good? Okay. Not bad. Here's what the TV looks like. Does this do anything? Okay, we have fidget here. Whoa, 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 whoa! Did you see this? No way! Okay, the TV changes screens. What? I did not expect that. Okay, this is giving. Okay. So here we have the tiny puzzle and we can turn this around. Do you move easily? Oh, look at that. This seems to actually move easily. Let's bring the green. I don't know. I don't think this is a puzzle. I think you just move things around. Okay. I feel like they could have added another layer to make it more movable because right now we could just move up and down. That's all I can do is move these things up and down. It's mindless enough, but I feel like there's something missing. I'm going to give this a six on 10 for now, but I like this and I like the suctions. Okay, we're starting off pretty good. Six on ten is not too bad. It's a base level, considering I actually hate puzzles. But this is not a puzzle, so we're getting somewhere. Next one. Listen to that. So by the way, you can find the numbers down here. Okay, so this one on itself said 102. This one's 101. So this is going to be different. All right, let's see. What do we have? It is... Oh, the gray one. Hang on, we'll get to you in a bit. There's the pamphlet. There you are. 
Great one's name is Spin. Okay, I thought they had, okay, this one has the same head. Mm, not impressed with that. Okay, so we see that the TV does move again. Very cool, I love that. Let's see the head. Same kind of spinny. Actually, let's bring our trusty felt a little closer. Voila, and here you can see it better. And now these, yeah, let's see. Let's try them in one hand. Yeah, feels good spinning in one hand. There's nothing special about it. It doesn't make any kind of noise. So I'm, I'm guessing these are supposed to be quieter. Yeah, pretty quiet. You can definitely leave this on your desk and it wouldn't look out of place. Yeah, pretty cute. The bottom does swivel as well. We have also suction, so let's try the suction. Let's do it. Yeah, it does, it does suction pretty good. The only thing I have to say about suctions is that it is pretty shallow, so don't expect a deep, it's hard to explain, but don't expect a, it's a surface level suction, it's not a, okay, I don't know how to explain it, but for those of you playing with suctions, you know exactly what I mean. Oh, it unsuctioned itself. Interesting. But yeah, you can see all of these do move on their own, back and forth, wait, this one's a little harder to move. Yeah, a little harder to move the top one. The rest? They're okay. Again, so far nothing special about this one, but I'll give it a 7 on 10 just because you don't have to think even more so about moving the puzzle pieces around. Next, ooh, we have a pink one. Oh no, not these ones. Oh no. Pink one is called Sift. Oh, I see something different on this one though. So first things first, let's check out the suction on this bebe and yeah. It's definitely a little bit deeper in terms of the suction. I don't know if it's a defect, but it does make extra noise if you pull it out because we have these little shaker things on the inside. And what are they? Okay, looks like we have tiny beads on the inside. This does also swivel. So again, the bottom is its own fidget as well. The top still has the TV screen. I wanna play with this first. This doesn't make any sound. I'm gonna be pretty upset. And the answer is no. I was hoping it was going to do like a creak creak kind of sound. Here's an example of the creak creak kind of sound. Oh, it feels good. Oh, that is so disappointing. I'm guessing they're going for quieter, but why add beads if we're going for noisy? If you're gonna make a noisy fidget toy, make it all around noisy. All right, let's see what the sift does. Okay, they're all like, I don't think they thought this through. This is pretty static, so they don't even want to move. This is very unsatisfying. Yeah, no, 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 no. Two on 10, absolute trash, I hate this. It's static. I'm not a bibbit. I don't need a shaker. Actually, this sounds pretty good. No, I'm just joking. The beads just don't want to go down. I think they chose the wrong beads because they're just static. Yeah, no. No. Two on ten. Oh, and if you want to avoid this one, just shake the bag. But this one is number five for garbage. Ah, look at Salty Crafter enjoying her day at the farm surrounded by fresh vegetables that she's ready to consume at any moment's notice. And the reason why these veggies look fresh to you is because they are delivered from the farm straight to your door in less than seven days. Yes, we're talking about today's sponsor, HelloFresh. For those of you who don't know HelloFresh, they are America's number one meal kit delivery service. So it doesn't matter if you are a pro in the kitchen, HelloFresh's foolproof recipes arrive pre-portioned and they're super easy to make. Let's go ahead and make something. Truffle strip loin steak and pan gravy. Here it is all done. I have to say, this is my first time trying a beef steak from HelloFresh. And I'm a huge fan of potatoes and gravy and I do love me my broccoli. So let's go ahead and dig in. I've never also had truffle salt, so actually I haven't ever had truffle anything. Bon appetit. Mmm. Oh, the best way I can describe truffle salt, it is a mushroom, so it does have an earthy flavor to it. I quite like that. And now for the mashed potatoes and gravy. Yeah, that's a good gravy. And oven roasted broccoli. 
Oh, it's way crunchier than I expected, and I really appreciate the difference in texture. Good crunch. And as you saw, HelloFresh gives you everything you need, so you don't have to run off to the grocery store scouring for ingredients that you need to supplement the things that you need for the recipe. And not only do they have 40 weekly recipes for you to choose from, but there are over 100 items for you to pick in order to supplement and make your kit even more personalized. Everything from snacks, dessert, lunches, and pantry necessities. And they all arrive on a delivery date that you choose. So what are you waiting for? Why not get like Salty Crafter and get all these fresh produce by going to the link down below, hellofresh.com and use the code NERDYCRAFTER16 for 16 free meals and free shipping. Again, the link will be down below as well as the pinned comment, hellofresh.com, use the code NERDYCRAFTER16 for 16 free meals and free shipping. Thank you HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video and being huge supporters of this channel. This one sounds different, but it looks like it's going to be another shaker. Oh, I love that sound. Oh, we are getting different ones. I'm liking that. And the antenna is different. Oh no, not this. <coughs> and the blue one is called Roll. I know exactly where this is going. All right, let's try the suction on this little baby. Same thing. Very nice suction. TV, anything different? Nope, it's about the same. Okay, now where's that rolly thing? It's down there, but let's see what this does. Okay, they're all pretty quiet. I know some of you grains are going to say that you do like the fidget toys that are quiet, which I understand and I appreciate, but I really like some of them that make a little bit of noise. Or at least one antenna would be kind of cool if it had some clicks, because some of those clicks are very satisfying. And then the other one could be quiet. I mean, I don't see why we can't negotiate. So this is actually pretty relaxing. I do like the side to side fidget here, especially you can do this with one hand and it still feels pretty good. I have to say I like this one a lot. This one feels really good. And then we have the rolly balls are here. Okay, let's see. Not bad. Okay. I don't dislike this. So far, it's probably my favorite one of the ones that we've opened so far. So I'm going to give this a solid 7.6. There's still an element of something missing, but 7.6 is the highest we've gotten so far. Cute and fun. And then, why does this one sound noisy as well? What are you? Don't be the same thing. Wait, did I show you the number? What was this one? This one's 103 in case you want that one. It is the best of the worst. <laughs> no, seriously, it's kind of cute. Okay, let's see what we have. What color are you? Oh, that's the same one, isn't it? Yep, we have another 103. So you'll find the numbers in the back. Yep, there you go, 103. Up and down, up and down, swirly. Is this stuck? Oh no. One of the balls is stuck. I got it. Get your minds out of the gutter. All right, so here they are. Come on, very nice. And then, wait, how many do we have? We have one, two, let's get closer, three, four. Okay, so we have four out of the six. So technically we're missing two more of the new ones. So let's put you all over there. They kind of look cute together. All right, you are. Don't be another double. Okay, that's a new one. Oh, why does that smell like gasoline? What the heck? Actually, it's not too bad. It does smell like heavy marker or gasoline scent. Is that its own fidget? <coughs> Don't sniff it so hard. If you like that smell, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It smells exactly like that. And Purple's name is Extend. Oh, it's a pop tube. Okay, and it has my favorite antenna. So let's first check out the TV. TV does the exact same thing. So nothing different here. I wish this were a click screen. Would have been kind of cool, but whatever. Let's see your suction. Okay, now I just noticed, and this bothers me now, that the purples are two different purples. So coincidentally, my mind went straight to the gutter because now I see a separation. Okay, it's not me. Clearly the two purples, actually three different purples. This is a purple that's different than this purple. That's different than this purple. It's visually annoying <laughs> because at least the blue here and there are extremely similar. There's a tiny difference, but they're very similar. Pink is exactly the same. Gray is the same. This one just has a little bit more of a marble pearly kind of look. Whereas the head of this one has a bit of a glitter type effect that you can see right here. So there's a difference, but very minimal. And even the orange is the same. I just don't understand why these purples are different. If I hide the center, you'll see that they're still very different. Why would you do this to me? I'm visually annoyed right now. Okay, let's do this. Let's get the suction going. 
Okay, let's move these antenna again. Very nice for one-handed fidgeting. However, you'll notice, look at this. This is moving as I'm fidgeting it. So it's kind of a little bit wobbly. You hear that sound? So it's kind of making an extra sound. This is still pretty good. Pushing this up. Oops. <laughs> what happened? Did I break it? Oh no, that one really came off. Wait, it's a twisty. Wait a minute, are they all twisty heads? Oh, are you supposed to interchange the heads? You are all twisty. Oh, it locks too. Okay, okay. How about the bottoms? Can the bottoms come out? No. Oh, yes, yeah. They are robots. You can change the pieces around. So you can pull this out and kind of lock them in and create your own perfect robot no you can create your own perfect robot okay we're gonna do that after oh my god i got goosebumps okay this product has just leveled up and it only took me the entire video to figure this out is it written anywhere no it's not written anywhere Y'all, companies, let me know. Don't make me accidentally find it out or send it to your PR team and hope your PR team reaches everyone can know. Me, I don't know that. I just see that I get tagged, but I don't ruin the surprise for myself. These are interchangeable. What the shrimp? Okay, I know that now. Now I just have robot body parts all over my desk. Okay, let's continue with this one. Let's hear the pop tube on this. Yeah, it's crunchy but nothing special about it. Usually the satisfying sound from the pop tube comes because the ends are bare. Let me let you hear that. So here's a pop tube. If we cover the ends, it'll sound exactly like the other one, but this is what I like. The extra crunch. You can only get that if the ends are actually open. So that's the difference. So you heard that crunch. And this one, it's a deeper kind of crunch, so. I prefer the other one, so here it be. We're gonna create our perfect robot, just hang in here. I think we have, wait, what was this one again? This one's 104. All right, let's see what we got. So we're missing one more new one, right? Yeah, I just have broken robots now, so I'm trying to count them. I think we're missing the green one, and you are, you are the green one. You are the green one. Please make noise. Oh. Wait, what? Is this broken? No, please don't be broken. Okay, this one spins, but I don't want the head to come off. How come the middle one doesn't do anything? Okay, this one spins. Okay, this one doesn't do anything. This one just stands there while the bottom one twists. Why? This would have been perfect, but why are there two if only one of them is gonna work? Yeah, only the bottom one wants to work. Okay, so here's the TV. Works pretty good. Top. Quiet, and then we push this down, and the suction, very nice. So, let's just take a quick look at what the last one here is. Actually, we can probably tell by the number. This is a 104, is it a, is it a poopy one? No, it's the same one as this, so I'm not gonna unbox it right now. So we have the green, gray, orange, purple, blue, and pink. Let me know in the comment section below which one of these would be your favorite. And we're also going to put numbers next to them. So we're going to put the numbers underneath these two and then above for the rest. And let me know what combination would you make? Would it be the orange and purple or number three and four? Because I want to know what is your favorite combination to make your perfect fidget. But if I'm going to be honest here, I definitely like the clicking of the green one over here. Oh, I didn't rate this, did I? Did I rate you? I'm going to give this a 7.2 just because it wobbles weirdly, but it is because of that wobble that we figured out that it can come off. And then this one, because the top one doesn't work too well, I'm going to also give it a 7.4 because the top ones are still kind of quiet and it doesn't work too well. So they're all not perfect in their own way. <laughs> so how I would do this is I would remove the head of that one. And because I like green and purple together, we're going to take the head of the purple off Add it here. So now we have this pretty cool part. This neat little area. And you know what? Since we're gonna go multicolor here, I'm gonna take the orange. So it's kind of become a <laughs> zombie looking character. I like this. We have this, we have this, and y'all get out of the way. We have the suction. 
Now, I like this because they have different elements, but all of them have a continuous element like the suction. So this for me would have probably been closer to an eight on 10. Again, the only reason I wouldn't have been happy about it is because the screen doesn't do really much and the top part is still not functional. Otherwise, this is pretty close to one of my favorite fidgets in this series. If you want to watch more mystery box unboxings of fidget toys, make sure you check up here. And if you wanna watch me do miniature cooking and miniature cooking supplies, Make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.